everyone, welcome to Sketch It Live. It is <clears throat> delightful May Day, May 20th, 2021. Been a minute. I think the last time I was on was Sunday. Apologies. It's been a full week. All that good stuff. Um, I think because things have been a little bit spotty, I'm going to extend the weekly sketch challenge to next week as well. And we've been doing tools. It's a super fun topic. I've seen some of your sketches. So, thanks for submitting us up screams in pain. I can't do it. Whoa. There's my mic. Now I'm back. Um, <laughs> what's up, Mystery? Run sauce. Hello. I am alive. Of course I'm alive. I mean, I shouldn't say of course, actually. Um, and it, it's funny because last show I started out talking about death. You know, I lost someone. And today I just found out there's another person who lost their lives in a tragic circumstance domestic violence so um really unfortunate but you know that is life so not making light of it this is gonna be a fast and furious stream i'm probably just gonna do 45 minutes to an hour it's been busy times around here but we are plugging along making really good progress on the digital sketch guide should be uploading a draft soon for uh patreon patrons and channel members so thank you again for your support if you're interested, patreon.com slash sketchaday or smash that join button on YouTube. Okay, so the topic is tools. That's what we're doing. I brought a couple here uh, with me just so I can talk about the mechanics, nuts and bolts of drawing and how I approach things. So I've got some needle nose pliers. I've got a screwdriver here and an adjustable wrench. Pretty fun. Pretty cool. Maybe we'll even do hands. We'll see. We'll see. But... It's gonna be fast. Um, hey, Vasisht, I'm doing all right. <laughs> all right, T. Okay, so let's warm up with. I need to figure out this monitor. Okay, there we go. A little bit further back. Good to go. So, yeah, I'm gonna be doing pen and paper sketching today. <clears throat> if you wanna use brushes, that I've created in Procreate, you can always check out the website. But for more information on the stuff I use, as always, check out that link. Great place to be. All right, so we'll keep moving. I'm probably gonna do three, just about three quick marker sketches here. Uh, let's start with some straight lines. On the straight line exercise, by the way, if you wanna push yourself, put dots on the paper, it's a little bit harder and you kinda have to ghost in before you draw that line but if you want to push yourself for accuracy it's a good way to do it so it takes a little bit longer right but you can get some reasonably straight lines that way um, nowadays I just tend to draw my straight lines my circles ellipses and all that so shout out much love to you thanks for joining thanks for hanging and being here hug hug the people in your life that you love man Life is short. Do what you love. Do it often. Okay, let's do some circles. Oh, I should turn on turn on Twitch today. Show some Twitch love. Thanks, Vasish. I'm glad you like them. Um, I've had people asking for Sketchbook. Do do many people use Sketchbook Pro these days or no? I've had people asking for Sketchbook Pro brushes, but. I don't really use them. I don't really use Sketchbook Pro much. All right, let's do our ellipse warm ups here. Push myself a little bit. Also, a heads up, again, if you're looking to level up your skills in design, I do teach a course, or I will be teaching two courses, actually. Um, I'll be teaching a prototyping course. It's called Materiality, but it's just going to be about thinking in terms of physical things and prototyping ideas, evaluating those ideas. And I'm also teaching a course called Design Discourse. 
uh, Vasisht was one of the students there, so no, you didn't get to take the prototyping Vasisht, but you probably don't need to. But if you're curious about industrial design, what we do, check out Offsite. It's advanceddesign.org slash offsite or advds.org slash offsite. All right, let's finish warming up here. Ellipses are actually going to be <clears throat> super important today. <laughs> A lot of these tools are going to utilize ellipses as part of them. I also need, I have, I have a lot of updates to do to the website. I was just thinking I need to update the video list, but this should be a good, um, should be a good addition to those, that list of videos. What's up, Applejacks? Thanks for, thanks for joining. Hello, Applejacks is one of our channel members. You can see that because her name's in green. Super special. Thank you for the support, Felix. Hey, Felix, um, I love that tip that you... Uh, put together. Let's see. Let's see if I can find that here. Okay. Do you have a YouTube link on that, Felix? I want to share that. I guess I could copy the Discord link. Copy message link. So, <clears throat> if you use Paper Made Flares and you're curious, uh, Felix came up with this awesome idea of how to make them refillable. And I've been wanting to try that. I think I'm going to turn it into a project where... I convert one of these into a refillable pen. My watch is a Series 4, I think. I'm waiting for the next one to upgrade. Um, for me, my Apple Watch is more of a fitness tracker device than anything else. All right, so we need some marker paper today. Let's start with this one. It's a little bit hard. So whenever I, whenever I look at a product or even think of a product, I try to, I try to think of, yeah, I want to, I, I want to see if you'd be open to doing like a collab or if I could build off what you do. Oh, you just respond. You, you responded. <laughs> I just haven't checked. Um, but yeah, I want to build like a 3d printed cap and then maybe, I don't know. We'll see. Okay. So back to this, whenever I see an object, I try to think of, okay, what actually makes this thing up? Right. Can I identify a circle perhaps? see a circle here so let's go ahead and draw maybe just a 2d version of something like this all right there's a let's see so it comes down and we go up it's kind of a circle here is what i'm identifying even though the pivots right here and we go over we have one handle like so then this seems to come down through the pivot ah okay now i now i'm kind of getting it so Always helpful for me anyways to like sketch something in 2D first. Even if it's just roughing it out. You know, when in doubt, rough it out. Because then you can get an appreciation and understanding for what that thing is. Alright, so maybe here's my my very rough sketch. Super, super rough here. But I've identified, you know, here's a circle. Um, this is going to be a square, kind of squarish uh, cross section. All right, there's maybe an oval here, you could say. All right, so just analyzing the design. Uh, it's rectangular right through here. So if you look at it this way, then it makes it a lot easier to then say sketch this up in fact if i want we could just do a quick wireframe here to get this in perspective and i'm just going to draw through like so and then now kind of plan out this oval for example um, you could approach it by drawing a rectangle like so or you could draw kind of a rectangle this way and then kind of figure it out or another way to think of an oval is three circles all right, so I'd have three kind of stacked squares. Gets a little bit messy, but I'm just gonna try and eyeball it here, for example. It's a rectangle there. I know I come down like so. All right, go up, down. Figure out these transitions in a minute. 
just get some straight lines in. All right, have a circle right about here. Okay, and then transition off that circle with a slight curve, like so. Maybe I missed this slightly. All right, so now kind of got this oval shape. So I'm gonna sketch in this oval shape. Like so, let's go ahead and split this. Have our line come in like so. Another oval here as we wrap transition. Like so. All right, let's see. And we've got some some 3D geometry in here as well that I need to kind of be aware of. All right, and then I need to pay attention to which side is which. So looks like we got something like this going on. There's our handle. And the cool thing too is if you do it this way, you can always create an overlay. I'm gonna roll with just the raw sketch in my case. And just color that up. I'm just gonna roll with it. But if you wanted to, you could always overlay your sketch and you'd be fine. Right, now we got some sort of grip here. Not being super precise on these, just going for effect. Super quick. All right, comes up like so. And we have our channel. All right, so what I mean to say is if I wanted to take this now, get an overlay. sketch once you've figured it out. And if you want to be more careful, you can be more careful. It's always important to ask yourself, why are you sketching what you're sketching? Are you just actually did a workshop this week with some engineers and I think there's sometimes a perception that you know sketches always have to be beautiful I think there's inherent beauty to sketches when we do them but they don't have to be completely perfect it just depends on what your goal is are you trying to communicate bond handle will go down a little lower it could um it's a good point it could but i mean if i look at this as a box this is it's a it's a square oh i see what you're saying go a little bit lower than than the head itself i guess the head could be bigger but you're right you are correct but i'm just gonna leave it alone So if I wanted to correct it, um, so good point, Vasisht. Just not gonna tweak it, but I would make the head here a little bit, a little bit smaller, or pull this arm down. Look at that. I said I'm not gonna correct it, and then there I am correcting. Um, but I could do something like that. Either way. Anyhow. <clears throat> Hello, lines. All right, fine. Now that Vasish pointed that out, I want to fix it. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and do that real quick. How are we on time? Yeah, we're good on time. We are good on time.
So the theme this week on the channel is tools. That's what we're doing. Some interesting submissions already. And we're gonna do the same topic next week. We're gonna run it out for two weeks. So even if you didn't get anything in this week, no worries. We'll be back at it next week. some additional time for you to work. some line weight here and then I'll throw in some color I guess the head of this should be pointed more down too but whatevs <clears throat> sci-fi tool I like that I'm just gonna use one marker for this I think I guess I started with the hardest tool here as well. What game is it, Lines, that you're talking about? I'm intrigued. I'm curious now. shadow in here. Uh, construction tool in the game. It's from Satisfactory. That's the name of the game. So as far as reflections go, remember it's a matter of you kind of deciding what's in the environment and what's being reflected. And then you can kind of put stuff wherever. So if something's off to the side here and reflecting, I guess I shouldn't have done this in such close proximity, but, um, and frankly, depending on how shiny something is too. straight for it with the like 80% gray there.
But yeah, you can do some fun stuff. Chrome and whatnot. Alright, so some quick, quickish pliers there. And then let's do another set of pliers. These are a little bit easier because, you know, looking at this, I see we have a cylindrical section here and then just a general, like, conical shape thing. I can even simplify this if I want. Um, so I'm going to start by just mapping out in a very simple way the needle portion of our needle nose pliers. Maybe even draw through here. And we come back down like so. All right, so something like this. interesting transition happening here. Really interesting. I'm like sketch a day raw today. <laughs> just like, just rolling with it. Um, all right, so we have this like little bit of a cutter section here and then teeth something like that and I'm gonna take a look at the top here so it's a little bit of a split drew that wrong a little bit of a split here All right so we can have things articulating let's capture the other side where that split happens so once again, when in doubt, rough it out. And I already kind of have the wireframe here, so I can kind of sketch over this like so. All right, same thing here. Just make sure I've got some perspective going. use a similar grip pattern here. Something like that. A little bit off here. Like if I draw a full wireframe, it's a little bit off, but I'm gonna roll with it. Yeah, I think I'll roll with it. some shading. And now I want to 
darken up some of these transition areas. something like that and just happen to have this red lying around so we'll use this find my red 29 that I have so I'll just use the 27 here it's just trying to find a little darker red so super quick sketch here a little bit of a shadow and of this grip a little bit dark. And I will be back on tomorrow. Yes, it'll be Fan Friday, but I'm still going to do some, some tool sketching. John Jean says you have some problems texturing metal with pencil. Yeah, I can show you some stuff. Do I even have a pencil handy? That's the question. Uh, not currently, but maybe we can do that. Do the screwdriver with pencil. So let's do simple screwdriver pencil or some sort of maybe it has a bit in here So the question was, how do you show metal with a pencil? I guess this is, it's not cheating, it's just, it's not a lot of metal in this. But let's say this portion's metal as well, or something. So what I would do, and typically, you know, if I have something that's chrome, I'm thinking, you know, and I, I rotate this. So here's the side or end. I'm thinking, okay, what's out here that is reflecting? Right? Do I have. Is there a person stand? <laughs> Believe me, that's a person. Is there a person standing? A big person, I guess. Or what's what's out in the distance that's reflecting? And so, oftentimes, I'll just do something like this when it comes to pencil. All right, just make this nice and crisp. And then on the top here, just shade in a little bit as well. All right, so I'll kind of do that here. And I'm using a Prismacolor pencil for this. All right, so just kind of shade in like so. I'm gonna throw a little shadow under here. Now, if this is metal, we're also going to get a reflection. 
going into it. Downside to pencil here is I have to sharpen a lot. Also, if it's helpful, <clears throat> if it's helpful, you can take like a straight edge. I don't typically do this uh, with pens, but I will with pencil. Take a straight edge like so, and then just kind of mark your sketch. So, and that's just gonna help things feel a little bit crisper. Now, of course, if you feel confident enough to do this freehand, go for it by all means. Now on the top here, I'm just gonna shade in a little bit. Right, and if the environment's dark even, you'd get some of that um, reflecting in here. It just depends on what's off in the distance. This is also shiny metal. I would kind of actually, <laughs> I messed up. I messed up, but it's okay. This reflection would be adjusted slightly down. Like so maybe I can fix that with a little bit of white ink, but got ahead of myself there. So this wouldn't be there, but I'll fix it. So you could do something like that. And then if the rest of this is plastic or something. Thanks, Latrice. <laughs> Good to see you. Do something like that and now shade in these grooves. So I am presenting at Adobe Max this year as well. I guess that's, that's coming up in the fall. I'll be doing a presentation on kind of working digital and analog. Some of you have seen me do that before, but a lot of people haven't, so uh, I'll be doing some of that. Meaning, you know, starting on paper, taking it into uh, Fresco. That's what I'll be using, Adobe Fresco. Showing some workflow tips there. Anyhow, maybe there's some, some logo on this thing. So yeah, hopefully that answers your question about working with pencil and showing some metal. Is it okay if you register live? I don't know what that means. Yep, I will absolutely do that for you, Latrice. Thank you. Maybe a little shadow here. Alright, how are we? 35 minutes. Okay, I got 10 minutes. So let's do another tool. So... Maybe I'm just rushing too much today. So I've got a screwdriver thingy, and we have some 
fires that we did and some other fires. Let's do a wrench. Unless you have a specific tool request. I can facilitate that. All right. <clears throat> so similarly, in fact, I don't want to mess this up because I know Vasish is going to call me out on it. But I think these look something like this. Like if I have an adjustable wrench, if I remember correctly, they look something like this. Just depends on the type, but the idea being this element's able to move in or out, <clears throat> right? Something like that. Maybe there's a little return here, and then you've kind of got a handle, whatever that looks like. Maybe something like that. If I remember correctly, something like that. All right, there's our, our wrench. Yeah, I may not be the neatest today, lines and everyone. I may not be sketching the neatest, but <laughs> I do like to work quickly if possible. So thank you. I appreciate that. Let's zoom in a little bit on, on this guy. All right, so a similar, similar thing. Kind of sketch out a little bit of a form here. I'm actually going to find the center point and then use that to kind of extend out through there. So I know my handle is going to, you know, be something, something in this envelope. Like that, for example. Maybe something like that. Swing an arc like so. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Lance. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. When I was in school, I think sketching for me was an exercise in precision over all else. Like, I used to sketch so tight, tightly. And when I graduated, I realized what the real purpose of sketching is, and that's communication. But you kind of, um, you almost have to go tight to understand how to sketch loosely and have it read, if that makes sense. So, these are like some long, long pliers. <clears throat> but yeah, you almost have to go a little bit tight to figure out how to be loose with your sketching. So it's maybe counterintuitive because oftentimes when teaching people, they wanna be like, oh, I just wanna sketch like this. And it's like, well, I know what shortcuts to take because I did the work to figure out how to show things that look good and I can take this loose sketch and make it feel good. I guess feel good is a good way of putting it. Make it feel good. I 
can do that because I've put in the time. Even something like this here. Knowing where shadows go and all that. But yeah, Latrice, you can uh, message me on Discord if you want. That way we can share images. I don't think I can share actual images on Patreon. And that goes for the rest of you. If you have, like, if you're a Patreon or channel member and you want feedback on something, I'll happily, happily take some time. Help you, uh, help you with your work. So I think I'm going to extend that perk to you all. If there's something... I mean, within reason, you know, based on time and whatnot. Hey, what's up, gerbs? By the way, did you get the last sketches I sent you? I think that was that was a couple, couple months back, but you never did confirm with me. So let me know if you did. My mustache is tickling me today. Not that you needed to know that. <laughs> but, you know. Yeah, no. And then, similar thing for the gray here is just... Think about what's being reflected. You know, if, it, if it's well lit above, for example, you may have like a nice bright spot there. Maybe another one like so for the subsequent light. Hello, Ariella. What's up? Life is simple. All right, something like that. And then even a little darker there. And you kind of get the hang of it. Life is simple. Yeah, even shortcuts like this, where it's like one stroke, leave some white, darken up a few little bits. You kind of understand how to do that when you do things the long way, Life is simple. the hard way, all so all. to speak. And then it becomes a lot easier to abbreviate these things. Quick, keep it loose. Stuff like that. All right, let's tighten it up just a little bit with a Sharpie or if I can find one. In my messy desk. One of the downsides to this new Mac Pro that I have is... Oh yeah, you did ask me for a mini Mac. Mini mech. How am I on time? 45, 12, 12, okay. I will do it because you asked last time and I said I would and then I didn't do it, so I'll do a mini mech. Just 
just because. But yeah, even just that little dark line on the bottom kind of helps. You can do the same thing on this sketch up here if you want. Pretty easy, pretty simple. Um, and that's the other thing too, is like, keep it simple, right? And you will be just fine. Gone are the days of like traditional marker rendering, but it still helps to understand how to do it. Um, and there's some really great books out there too, including my marker sketch guide. All right, so. Did our pliers, did a wrench here, another set of pliers multiple times, and then also this quick screwdriver. So lots of tools today. Keep a rough sketch as well. I will be uploading these to the Google Drive. Even the bad ones, I'll upload those. All right, so uh, Redacted Computer, AKA Mecha, asked for a mini mech. Um, so I'm gonna gray marker gray marker this one and then do pen when I'm ready. I think, is there a specific kind of mech you want to see or you just, you don't really care? Anything more like a Macross style I think you'd, you'd asked for. Right, something like that. Like Robotech type stuff, Gundam Macross from the 90s. Okay. Um, there's a pretty classic pose, I would say, for these. So I want to try and capture the pose. So I'm going to look up. Okay. Yeah, there's like a, a classic, what I would consider to be Gundam style. Oh, I'm Gundam style. Doop, 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 doop. Doop, 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 Gundam style. Yeah, but it's something, something akin to this. So I'll just kind of build off. something like this here and then usually the mech's looking directly at you all right and then maybe let's do another one here so it's like a straight leg one leg extended out kind of pose Arms to the side, maybe a big, big old shield or weapon or something here, and then we're usually looking directly at you. So I'm gonna do these as uh, just quick marker pen sketches. So I'm not, I'm not gonna get too detailed here. But great technique if you're doing this kind of work and you want to just move really quickly. All right, so now I can take a pen. <clears throat> I got the M1 12, 12.9 uh, 12 inch. So that's coming end of end of June for me. I'm really excited to, to dig into that. Okay, so now I can kind of, I mean, I didn't really think about the faces here. You know what's actually happening. C3, C2. Didn't really think about that, but. Like, do they have any sort of horned appearance, collar?
They usually have like things sticking off the head. Sometimes you got like boosters in the back, that kind of thing. This one's not as dynamic as this one. But I would say this is kind of the classic, classic pose here. bit of a rough sketch and then now I can add some line work add some refinement to this so and it may be that as you're sketching this you have an idea of what face looks like or other things like that that's that's totally fine So it's a matter of just pulling stuff out of the shapes, I feel like. I'm super happy with this face, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll with it. this maybe call this the warm-up the warm-up Yeah, the head feels like it's like too recessed in the body here, but I don't want to redo it. But maybe I will still anyways. Okay, let's go. <laughs> do I own a titanium pen? I do not. So I'm going to redo it. I'm just going to take this, rotate my paper a little bit here. Let me make sure we're in frame. Yeah, we're in frame. We're good. So now to reposition things, I'm just going to move this gauge around so I can get a little extra height here. Maybe placement changes.
I can move this up a little bit more. Yeah, no worries, Mecca. Um, I did promise last time, so I uh, did want to get it done for you. So not a big deal. At least not too big a deal. getting some some major pieces in place here and then I can fill in the rest I think decide if I want to modify this, this leg a little bit. I think I will. Yeah, there's just a, there's just this like classic stance or pose. It's really interesting when you look at uh, some of these mechs. I probably should do one more sketch like if I were doing this as a final thing but I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and salvage this just enough let's see let's see if it'll work so I'm just gonna do gray gray marker and some pen here All right, my friend, you don't need to keep posting. All right, uh, does the M1 iPad Pro work with an existing Apple Pencil? I think it should work with the, which Apple Pencil do you have? Do you have the version two or the version one Apple Pencil? Like, do you have the one that attaches to the
Do you have the one that attaches to the iPad magnetically or no? Uh, looks like a good update to Reinhardt from Overwatch. Interesting. I don't play Overwatch. So I've never looked at any of the characters, so interesting comparison. I mean, I know what it is, but I haven't, like, you know, haven't played the game or looked at the characters at all, really. I think I've seen, like, maybe one or two of them. I, I'm a designer and I like drawing and we were doing a challenge this week uh, sketching like tools but had a request to do like a mech so just doing a quick Gundam Robotech style Macross whatever you want to call it mecha Why did I do that? And definitely not being as careful as I should be, but what ifs. You guys watched I mean it's it's a very adult show but have you watched uh, Invincible on Amazon I actually know the artist that worked on it not the animated version but um, that worked on the comic book source material it's pretty pretty intense pretty intense crazy crazy show but just curious if y'all have seen it invincible Castlevania on Netflix is good. Invincible is cool. It's intense, man. The okay, <laughs> the finale lines, <laughs> insane, right? And no spoilers, but the finale, I was just like, oh my gosh, this is this is madness. I haven't done one of these in so long. I feel rusty. So I appreciate the suggestion, Mecca. 
But yeah, I used to draw more of these uh, Macross style things when I was when I was way younger. Like I mean, like maybe teenager, and then moving on to pre adult pre at pre adult life. I don't even know what you call that. What's the technical term? And yeah, it's been a minute, so. Appreciate the challenge. And then just a little gray marker here. There are Copic markers on the screen. Uh, hold on. Hold up. Hold up. What have I done? Oh. Okay. I thought I thought I made a mistake there. All right, something like that. I, th I still think this one had a better stance. Right here. I feel like it had a better, better stance to it. If I were to figure out some of these shapes. Kind of sketch this out. Had more of the the classic stance going for it that I was describing. But yeah, if I were to redo this one and then you know overlay it, probably be a little bit better. Oh, actually, probably a. Uh, fist on this one so and then it could have like some big ace weapon whatever it's right here and then you could have the rocket boosters pointing out a little bit too compact maybe pull this down but probably a much better stance but it is what it is it is what it is we did the drawing thing all right i'm gonna wrap up for today i'll be back tomorrow um, Draglide is asking, how do you keep the whole screen in focus? I have two Sony a7 threes and I have fixed focal length lenses. Well, on one of them, anyways. The other one, um, I just have it set to spot focus, I believe. But not too hard to do. Anyhow, so we did our Gundams. We did our more industrial design style sketches here. Got some pliers. All principles that work, you know, in a variety of circumstances. You know, when in doubt, rough it out. Break things down. Redo them if you have to. Take the critique on the chin. Roll with it. That's how we do. So, I'll post these up after the show on the Google Drive for your entertainment and hopefully delight. All of them. All the rough ones. High quality scans. That'll be going up. I'll be back tomorrow morning. 
for Fan Friday. So get your sketches ready. We're going to extend this week's challenge of tools to next week. So I can participate a bit more. It's a little bit self-serving, I guess. Um, but also to give you additional time if you want to test things out, play with things. Latrice, hit me up. I will happily give you some feedback. Um, and the same goes for the other patrons and channel members. If you have questions about your own work, hit me up in the Discord channel for patrons and channel members. Or... Uh, Message me on Patreon, either way, or however, just get in touch. And let me know. Hey, I need some help with this. It's all good. As always, passion is the process. Thank you so much for being here, for hanging out, um, and being a part of the stream. That being said, take care. Have a happy and productive Thursday, and I will see you tomorrow on the stream right here for Fan Friday. Take care, everyone.